Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your C++ tutorial series. I have a beautiful message here left by my spouse for, quote, all of my fans from your amazing wifey poo. So, there you go guys. Is that good? This video, we're gonna be talking about STL arrays, standard template library arrays. Now, before we get into these arrays, right, you got to check out our sponsor, Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. Now, when it comes to templatized arrays, it works very similar to normal arrays, but it's also very similar to vectors. So if we had a spectrum from hard to use to very easy to use, we would have arrays on one end, something like this, where this is very complicated, this is very easy. Templatized arrays are somewhere in the middle. So when you create a templatized array, it's going to look like this. I forget. It's in the standard namespace. And then you just say array. And then inside of carrots, you would say the type and the size. So this is what I mean by templatized. It has a type inside of these template marks or the carrots, the less than and greater than sign. Anytime you see these, you can think of templates or generic programming. So let's look at some of the differences between arrays and vectors and where the templatized arrays fit in. Well, arrays are statically sized. Vectors are dynamically sized. The templatized array is on that side. It's statically sized. Arrays, when passed to functions, do not remember their length. Vectors, when passed to functions, do remember their length. Templatized arrays are on this side. They remember their length. Last thing is that when arrays are passed to functions, they're passed as pointers. Vectors are passed by value, meaning they're copied. Templatized arrays are similar to vectors in that they are copied. So hopefully that kind of helps you see that the templatized array is somewhere in the middle. It kind of acts like an array, but with some of the capabilities of a vector. Specifically, it knows its size and it is passed by value. So this would be an ideal data type if you're working with something that you know the size of. You know, for example, it's going to be 20 elements, but you don't necessarily want to work with this crappy array and you want something a little bit more beefed out then you might wanna look into the templatized array. How does it work exactly? Well, it's essentially an array wrapped in an object. So you can think of it like this. Here we have some object, and then inside of this, we have an array. So we have all the normal capabilities of this array, but with a little bit extra features around it, which comes from the object that kind of wraps around it. So this is where understanding the size comes in. It's part of that object wrapping. So that's how you can basically understand how a templatized array works. It's like we're working with a normal array, but just has an extra layer of capabilities. Now we can use this array just like we would use a normal array or a vector if, for example, this was called ages, and we could assign it some values. We can access these values using array-like indexing. So we could say ages of zero, to get that first element, one to get the second element, and two to get that third element. So actually using the array, it's almost identical to this array, or even vectors, because you can actually do this with vectors too. But the primary difference is you get a little bit of extra capability. Specifically, you can do stuff like this. Ages dot size, which is a member function, also known as a method, of this ages object which is a templatized array. So this will give you how many elements. In this case, it would return three, it returns an integer, so you could output it or you could pass it to another array or just use it as if it was any integer. So very simple concepts. Hopefully that was nice and simple for you guys. In the next video, we're gonna get a little bit of practice working with templatized arrays. Very super easy and it's gonna be a good video. So make sure you check out that part so you don't just get the concept, but you actually get some hands-on work with the array. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, be sure to subscribe.